Hi, it's me, Guy on YouTube. As I'm sure you read in the headline today, I'm going to be drawing the entire Disneyland map completely from memory. So let's, let's just roll the, this roll, roll the intro. As I can already tell, the problem with this video is I tried not to to study or prepare beforehand, which means I also didn't really think about the logistics. So we got some crazy shadows going on here, but you know what? We're just gonna do it. I hope this marker works. If not, I have a whole box of them. I guess I'll start drawing the castle. Now, I instinctively want to draw the castle up here in the middle, but there's a lot more behind the castle. So I'm just gonna draw the castle down here. Uh. Um, yes. Well, I never said the castle has to look good. I just said the map has to be, a, oh my gosh, what I? <laughs> hey guys, it's Sleeping Beauty's castle. This marker isn't very good. Let's try another one. It's the marker's fault why this looks the way it does. Marks a lot. I hear it's a better brand than Sharpie. Oh my gosh, this looks really bad. Marks a lot. Marks a lot, I hear it's a great brand. Oh my gosh, okay, Marks a lot sucks. Castle, and then the castle we go down to, well there's like the esplanade, what do you call that? The courtyard. And then we're gonna go down Main Street, so Main Street is just the street gate slash train station. Is this good? Is this a good video? Oh! Here's like the Penny Arcade, I think. And then you go, there's this little off road here. Great moments with Mr. Lincoln around here somewhere. That's, that's Main Street, as you can tell. Everyone's favorite part of the park, it's Main Street. Adventureland is this way. So here is our gateway to adventure. Add. Advent. It's Advent. Off here we got the Tiki Room, which is right next door. Oh, this marker is great. Tiki. Sure. And then if you go this way, on the other side is now the Tropical Hideaway, which I don't know exactly what that looks like. Oh yeah, <laughs> that looks bad. We're gonna make Jungle Cruise next, because you walk up this pathway a little more, and you got the bazaar here, and then you got the entrance to the Jungle Cruise. Then you board right here. Here's the Jungle Cruise boat. And as we all know, the Jungle Cruise River goes roughly, roughly like, you know, like, I just completed the, the one end of the river connected to the, and then on this side, you go back to the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Um, and that's a little back in the woods. So you got all these trees. And then you can see the Jungle Cruise from there. So the temple on the Jungle Cruise that you go under is like right here. And that's Adventureland, ladies and gentlemen. Bangle BBQ, which is a bit longer than it used to be. There's a gift shop right here. Oh shoot, so where even is Frontierland? If this, Frontierland is here, so you could go this way to Frontierland. Here is the Rivers of America. Here is Pirate's Lair Island on there, a little shack looking thing. Here's the Columbia sailing around like a real sail ship. Can you see, right there. Big Thunder Mountain. Here's the train track going around. How does Frontierland even work? Oh, I guess it wraps around this way and then cuts around the back of Big Thunder Mountain, the trail does. This is so backwards. Here's a restaurant. Here's another gift shop that lines the back of Bengal Barbecue. Oh my gosh. New Orleans, here's the French Quarter area. Wait, no, here's, change my mind. This is Pirates of the Caribbean, Pirates. Boom. This is really looking like Disneyland. Pirates over there. 
which means that the haunted mansion is right about here-ish. Here it is looking spooky. Go up this way, and now you're in Critter Country. New Orleans Square never has looked so good. So here then is Ja Boy Splash Mountain. Woohoo! Woo! And that is exactly what Splash Mountain looks like. Over here on the right is The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, WP. And then that, I believe, now wraps around to Star Wars Land. And then Star Wars Land also connects around the back of the Rivers America now. I think right back here on Big Thunder Trail. I don't actually know what it looks like, so I'm just gonna draw some spires and a... Uh, what are they called? The... the... evil ship. Evil ship. Right there. Alright, so that is the left hand. Now we got Main Street, we got... Adventureland, we got Frontierland, and Star Wars Land. Critter Country up here, looking epic. Here's King Arthur's Carousel. You walk through the castle. I can't tell you which side Peter Pan and everything is on. Oh, this is really bad. Well, here's the Matterhorn over here. So I'm just gonna draw that. Maybe it'll help me out. Matterhorn. Dark ride, dark ride, dark ride, restaurant. Dark ride? I don't know. It's something. It, it, it's fantasy. Small world. There it is. It's, that's kind of getting into Tomorrowland, though. So that's the submarine lagoon. Let's put a submarine in there so you know. The submarine does look a little like Small World, but I just want you to forget about that for now because this is an awesome rendition of the map. It's artistic. I could probably sell this um, to the waste management company um, for free and maybe I'll have to pay them. And then so you got behind King Arthur's carousel, well the teacups are back here. Which means Alice in Wonderland is right. This one is Alice in Wonderland. These are the mad teacups. Which would mean that this here is Mr. Toad. Toad. And right next to Mr. Toad. And I think these kind of share the same building with Alice in Wonderland somehow. I don't know how all that works. I'm not a genius. Mr. Toad, right next to Mr. Toad is... Peter Pan. On the other side you got Pinocchio and... Snow White. Is that right? It's getting a little warm in here. Where is the Storybook Land Canal? It's, I mean, Monster the Whale is like over here or something. I eat children. Where is Dumbo? Dumbo's right, he, Dumbo's gotta be right here. Dumbo. This path goes down to Toontown. Toontown, you go right, you get the fountain here, you get Roger Rabbit, and then you just get a bunch of crap no one cares about, basically. You got the Gadgets Go Coaster, looking something like a bowl of spaghetti. I'm gonna go this way. Is this better? This is actually probably, I'm gonna stay over around this way. Like, there's like the Pixie Hollow or whatever they call here, and they got that cool fountain here that puts on a little mini world of color kind of thing. Um, and then you got the big dumb rocks that no one likes, big dumb rocks. Then you got the big dumb Astro Orbiter ride that no one likes. You got the big dumb Astro Orbiter ride. That would mean Star Tours is right over here. Star Tours. Uh, and then you can go on this side is Buzz Lightyear. Um, and then you go down Space Mountain is over here looking just fine. Look at that. That's really good Space Mountain. And next to Space Mountain is Pizza Port Planet. Oh no, I don't like how that looks. Let's... Looking great over there. It's a restaurant. And next to Star... I guess this is the what used to be the Starcade and there's the line to get into Space Mountain. Um, and then there's like a the wasted room there, waste of space. Um, I love Tomorrowland. And what else? Oh, oh, of course. Then you got the big theater that takes up too much space and should be deleted. And then you got that ride where you drive the cars that takes up, um, well, here's Disneyland and here's roughly one fifth of Disneyland. 
And here is Autopia. And here is me dreaming about how much potential other stuff you could put here. It doesn't really go out by Small World there, but you know, whatever, it's good enough. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a real map of Disneyland drawn from memory. Really, this is beautiful. Let's let's just take a look at this a little close up. Selling this map now for about $17,000, I think is probably the value of it. And these for another 2,000. Tell me what you thought, How, could you do better? I don't know, what's the poll question this week? The poll question this week is, um, how'd I do? Good, bad, real bad. And thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm uploading every week right now and this is what I considered an in-between week video which I expected to be about a four minute video and it's looking like it's much longer than that. But it, it, it's simple for me to do. So tell me what you thought below. Was this silly and dumb? Did you have fun? Do you wanna try it yourself and send pictures somewhere? I don't know, just send them. Just send them. Really though, thanks for watching. I'll be back next week with a full length you know, more regular Disneylander. The kind of stuff you hit subscribe for in the first place, but I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. I'll see you next week, but until then, gotcha.